Welcome home. My brand new listing, right here in Devon Air. Today, we have the professional photos being taken of the house. The photographer is coming here and we're gonna take professional pictures. I'm not gonna take pictures with my phone because that's not what's gonna get the job done. Now, you're probably looking at the title of this video and thinking, what? A realtor can either make or lose me money? Yes, technically, they can. And I'm gonna tell you why? And this is, a, this is a topic that I'm very, very into because it's something I truly believe in. Now, first things first, I'm sure the one you're most curious about is how can a realtor lose you money? Because nobody wants to lose money, right? I don't want to lose money. But how can a realtor make you lose money? Let me put this to you in plain terms. When you hire a realtor and you hire them to list your home for sale, a lot of realtors take pictures, maybe with their phone, and maybe they'll do like the horizontal pictures or whatever. They'll take pictures with their phone, horrible pictures. Or maybe they'll get a camera like mine and take some decent pictures. And then they'll put it on the MLS and they'll sit around and wait for somebody to call their phone and request showings. Just like this. And nothing happens. And maybe, maybe weeks and months go by. Sometimes sellers get lucky and maybe it'll sell like that. But... Most of the times, weeks and maybe months will go by and nothing's happened and the seller's held on to the property. He's paying property taxes. He's paying the electric bill. He's paying all these things for the house as the months go by and he's losing money because the house hasn't sold yet. And then the realtor more than likely is going to say, hey, your house is overpriced we need to do a price reduction. And he's probably gonna reduce you and reduce you and reduce you until it finally sells at a price that you didn't even want to sell. And they just sat around and waited for the showings to happen. They didn't do any marketing. They didn't send brochures. They didn't do open houses. They didn't do brokers open houses. They didn't do like videos. They didn't try doing something unique to sell the home and to get more eyes to see this. Listen, this is marketing 101. How are you gonna get pe more people to know you or your product or service? The more people that know about your product or service, the more likely you are that people will hire you or buy the product or service. That's just how it is. It's a numbers game. So it's the same thing with a house. The more people that see this house, the more people that know about this house, the likelier the odds are that someone's going to buy it. And the likelier chances are that maybe there'll be more than one interested party. And if there's more than one interested party, that is very good for the seller in terms of negotiating for the best price for their property. And this leads to my next point, is how a realtor can make you money. You see, I'm not saying to hire me, because maybe you don't live in Miami, but if you do live in Miami, hire me. If you don't live in Miami, make sure that you have a realtor who has these qualities. Ask him the right questions. You want to make sure that your realtor, you know, takes professional pictures, takes pride in their listings. You see, my listing, I take pride in them. And the pictures, I take very, very seriously. That's why I had a professional photographer come and I didn't take it with my camera, which is a pretty decent camera. To show how much pride I take in my listings and how important presentation is to me, all these curtains right here, they're tied with zip ties. So this right here, this curtain, I don't like how it's gonna come out in the photo. So I'm going to tie this, improvise, and make it look pretty. This is before, before, and before. Now look at after. All right, so look, look at how they look now. You see how nice that looks? So I have zip ties in my car, okay? I have zip ties, zip ties. You just saw, I tied them with zip ties because I didn't think 
that leaving them open or leaving them the way they were was good enough. I want this house to sell and I want to present it in a way to the consumer, to the buyer. I want them to look at the pictures and be like, I need to see that home. And I want them to get here to this property and buy it. That's the whole purpose of it. And so those photos bring buyers. And on top of that, not only the photos, because it's more than just photos. It's the way the house is presented inside. It's clean. It smells good. I want the buyer to come in here and imagine themselves and their family living in here. On top of all that, my marketing strategies are very unique. I make videos like these. I do open houses like no one in Miami does. I am Mr. Open House because I really believe in them. You would not believe the amount of people who are just looking around, not even shopping for a house, and then they're interested and end up buying a house. That happens, that happens. And the only way that that possibility can happen is doing open houses. I believe in open houses. You see all of these marketing efforts, all of these things are getting more eyes and bringing more attraction to the house, which will more than likely get the house sold quicker and more than likely get the best price for the house, okay? You do not want a realtor who sits around and waits for the phone to ring. That's not how things happen. That's not how deals get done. Who you hire as a realtor is extremely important. And I stress it and I hope that you got something from this and you've learned. If you want me to do a video of maybe some good questions to ask a realtor to make sure you're hiring the right realtor, comment below. If you like this type of video, if you thought this was informative, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me, give me some love because guess what guys, I am trying to provide the most value for you so hopefully you can learn something because that's the whole point of this, is for you to learn. So when you're hiring your realtor, hire wisely because that can mean more money in your pocket or less money in your pocket. Marketing 101, the more people that know about you or your product, the more likely the chances are someone will buy that product. I took the professional photos, now it's Tuesday, I'm gonna get the photos back tomorrow which is Wednesday, and I'm doing the first open house this Sunday from three to five. And guess what, I'm gonna market it like crazy in the neighborhood, I'm gonna leave brochures, I'm gonna let the neighbors know about the hottest listing in Devon Air because that's what it is, and that's what's gonna get the home sold. So I need to get it out there for the world to see. And that's my job. Find yourself a realtor who's passionate. Find yourself a realtor who knows what he's doing. Find yourself a realtor who's actually going to work. That's the end of the vlog. See you in the next one. Peace. If you need a house, condo or a townhome, who are you gonna call? Johnny Vega. Oh. Next week on Vega Vlogs. So you have a hundred million dollars cash lying in your pocket in a big briefcase. What are you gonna do with it? Well, you got a Miami Beach real estate. So this is what you can get with a hundred million dollars in Miami Beach.